All right, what are we doing? What's the big project of the day, the night, the evening? Putting in joists for my loft. That's imaginarily there right now. Yeah. You can't see it, but it's gonna be there. So what do we gotta do first? Build this here. Gotta build that wall. Yep, yeah, we gotta build that wall to support the joists above it. So you excited? Probably big enough up to this post. Well, I'm gonna take it to one joist on 16 on center past the post. So where? Like so it'll, it'll come in. It'll probably finish about right here or so. So it's like evenly spaced, 16 Why inches not, on like, center. Right here? Well, I think the reason I chose that is because if I pull from that corner all the way to about right here, 10 feet exactly, that means the joists on center will be perfect to that part, and then. Also, the four by eight sheets of subfloor that I'm gonna put in, mm -hmm. they're four by eight in dimension. Yeah. So I can do two full sheets, half sheet. Yep. So it works out mathematically. Yeah, it's just evenly. easier. Yeah. If I try to cut it back a foot, then I'm having to deal with smaller measurements yeah. and stuff. I get that. So. Can I draw a line across the ground with chalk? Sure. All right, we're gonna work on Michaela's loft today. So. We decided to go with the two by tens. This is a 16 foot span, but I looked everything up and the codes and all that and the live load that we're gonna have up there. It's just a child's loft, so it's not gonna have a huge live load, maybe the maximum 40 pounds per square foot like a residential live load, but it's probably not gonna be that. So we got the uh, two by eight tens, 16 foot span, 16 on center. That should be okay for that live load. So I'm gonna double up on the outside here for the main beam part, and then 16 foot joists running this way, and then blocking between. That should be good. That'll hold you, right? What? That'll hold you. Yeah. Yeah, it should hold you. I'm pretty light. You're pretty I light, yeah. Her fit here. So we got the boards already set up. Ready? Yep. What do you think? It's fun. Yep, that's a good, that's why you got the safety glasses on. Pieces of wood fly up, sparks from the nail. You ready? Yep. Okay, so we have the hole here for... pipe is going to come through here. Uh, the loft is going to come from that corner all the way up to about this stud here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another stud right inside this one, double it up to help support the weight of the final beam that supports the whole loft going that way. <laughs> no, we're just going to leave it at that. All set? Yep. Throw a few nails in it. Mm -hmm. Kind of acts like a acts like a bit of a post, I guess you'd say. Actually, so now what we're gonna have to do is this wall. Since I got the hole for that pipe, we're gonna have to lift this wall up. So not just raise it, right. but then raise it, raise it up, and then slide, slide it down, down over. Over. and hopefully it fits. With a hammer, we can make we it. Can, we can, Yep, this is this. Where's Miss Persuasion? Here we go. <laughs> Miss Persuasion, right here. Right Miss here. Persuasion! She's so. out in action again. So, can we raise it now? Ready? Are you ready? Yeah, kiss him. Yeah. Oh! Oh! 
Really? Oh. That's not that heavy. Oh. Have Hello? an interruption in our From Scratch Ranch program. Oh, she's recording, so. We are sorry for video. our interruption. <laughs> okay. Oh no, they're talking about me. I need to go do homework. Yeah. Your 10 minutes are up. Time for homework, girl. No! Okay. Ready? Yep. Uh oh. It doesn't fit. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Good job. Okay, now let's just throw a couple nails in to secure it. So yeah, maybe just a couple into the post. Yep. here into the side, secure those. So you're basically toenailing it, maybe one more on that side. That one came all the way through. Yep. There we go, done. Come back, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna write R. McCubbin on the wall. You're gonna sign it, yeah. the wall that you built. R. McCubbin. Now just put Paul Mac. Okay. <laughs> 2019. Okay, now that we got this wall done, we gotta work on that small wall above the window. That little section there, so I can put the top plate all the way across up top there. So that way it's even with that top plate there, so I can put my joists on top of that. So. Okay, and you see, another one. So I've got 12. And a 16, 12 and a 16. There she is. So Michaela's off to go from the corner to that right there. So I'm gonna get a four joist and span it across here, just see what it looks like. Okay, and then what I do is I lift this side up first. Okay. I'm gonna to have to trim every single one of these down. I'm gonna to have to trim it on this side too because I gotta put the rim joist back here. I gotta put a rim joist on that edge too. So there'll be a rim joist on both these edges because that rim joist will go this way, sitting on top, that I have to then screw into the edge of the end of these. So I need enough room on that. But that's Michaela's loft. That's the size of it right there. Ten by sixteen. That's a decent sized room. <laughs> 